B, the first flight of the orbital discovery, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Hello. So, oops, let me take off my seatbelt. Just got to Michael's. Um, I'm gonna look at the beads and just overall jewelry stuff that they have. Let's see how that goes. Every single time I go to Michael's, I always have to go into like this miniature section because I'm obsessed with miniatures and look at this shit. What? And oh my god, look at this. Isn't it so cute? And then look, it also has like miniature, like real life things. Which, like, I could definitely make. Oh, it has, like, fairies. Shit. Yeah, I'm, like, kind of in heaven right now. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got a bunch of shit. I'm gonna be poor. Yeah, so I just spent $60 um, at Michael's. I don't know if that was worth it. So, um, I'm definitely gonna show you a haul later. Because I need to get home. But... Okay, I'm back home, so I'm gonna show you the $60 worth of Michael's stuff that I got before my- Oh, shit. My mom is outside, and now she's gonna be like, why are you staying in your car? Um, okay, here she comes, bye. Okay, I'm back. After my mom was like, why you buy all this unnecessary shit? But- let, okay, let's show you my Michael's haul. Okay, so first things first, I bought these two bags of beads. I really like the way pearls look uh, mixed in with like colorful glass beads, which I'll show you later. Um, so I bought pearls. It makes it go for an elegant look. As you can see, I'm wearing pearls right now. And then um, I bought these like just plastic colorful ones. Um, they're kind of, you know, just very nostalgic like kids even though i never ever had this when i was little but um yeah and it's very summery so yeah i bought those <sighs> and then this i'll show you the boring shit um i got the stretch magic wire plastic wire um i wasn't really sure which one to buy so i just bought this one i got the 10 meter one because i don't know how many is 10 meters gonna be enough? I just oh yeah, it definitely is. Meters. Yeah. Okay, and then um, I got this clasp. In Mongolia, they have these um, when you just screw it on and you screw it off, and it's way easier than the hooks. Um, so I bought the screw ones. And then I bought these butterfly charms that you guys saw I was looking at. I think they're pretty cute and small. Um, oops, I held it upside down. So that's probably going to be like the main like falling piece right here for some of the necklaces. And then here's all the actual expensive doozy, doozy shit. So I got glass beads because you know they bougie looking um so i got this sorry my sister called me everyone is so obsessed with me are you sure about that anyway so as i was saying i got this like sky blue glass beads um i'm trying to do like a at least one green themed um necklace one um like colorful pastel color and then probably blue so yeah those are the blue glass beads and then with that blue one and also with the pearls i think that's going to be all one necklace um this is going to be the main drop charm so i'm going to put one and it's just going to be the main one that sits like on your clavicle 
So got these. These are also super pretty. Um, they're also glass, like wire jewelry. So I like that one. And then I bought this one. This one is so cute. Okay, they're green little glass leaves. Isn't that cute? I'm excited to use this one. Uh, I'm probably gonna use this one with um, this red one. These are red glass beads, and I'm probably gonna pair that with the green. So it'll be like a cute, like red, green, maybe a little bit of brown moment. Um, I'll show you the green ones that I've been talking about. So I got this one, which is like this limeish green. It's very pretty. And then this one, I'm um, probably going to be like the small ones in between, um, like dividers. Cute. Um, and then I also, with the green one, uh, I got this tiger's eye because in Mongolia, tiger's eye is very like special, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it, but overall, I really like tiger's eye. And it's really cute so i bought these small ones to just put in as, as dividers as well so probably gonna do it with the green maybe also the green and red one um because whenever i think of like virgo i'm a virgo um i think of like green and brown maybe that's just because i like those colors others will probably disagree but you know and then finally this one is super cute these pastel glass beads. I really like the color scheme of this one, so I bought it. Um, but even though this was the most expensive because this had the green tag, the others had red tags. So I'm probably gonna pair this one with the pearl and the colorful beads, and I think that would look cute. So yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've never made jewelry before and I just splurged so much money. But let's hope it goes well, okay? By the way, let me just show you my jewelry I'm wearing. I had bought this really cute moonstone ring um, from TJ Maxx. And these are some cute pearl earrings that my mom got me. And I oh don't know, they're just really cute. This is my graduation gift, by the way. But yeah, I just wanted to show that because I think it's cute. Anyway, I'm going to go inside because obviously a lot of people miss me, so... So it is officially the next day and I'm wearing the same shirt for consistency reasons. Um, I'm about to get started with making the necklaces, but my cat decided to want to bless the gems. So yeah, probably gonna have to wait until he's finished. Okay, so I have all of my stuff set up. I taped the string to the table so I can just pick it up and just put it in so it'll be a little bit easier. And then I think I saw I saw that in someone's video on YouTube that I was looking just to make sure I was doing things right because I didn't want to mess up. But I do think I cut the string a little bit too short, but hopefully because it's like stretch magic string, it won't it won't really matter. Um, so I'm doing the blue necklace first. So as you can see, I have it already kind of patternized. So I have the blue like um, glass gems that you saw, three pearls and then blue. These, this one's gonna be the little middle vein, like I said. So let's get started. Okay, so I finished the beading and that was surprisingly easy and look how cute it looks. Oh my gosh. Um, so I definitely did make it a little bit too short. So the next one I'll make it a little longer, but look how cute that looks. Look. Um, so I definitely, now all I need to do is put this thing on here. So I hope that works out. And then afterwards, I will show you the final result, and then we can start on the next one. Okay, that literally took like 
I don't even know how long to get those clasps on and I think my fingers have arthritis now but I got it on eventually I don't know how long it's gonna stay on so I definitely need to learn a more permanent way to get it on but here's how it looks it's definitely too small um it looks very choker like but I still think it's super pretty like so my next one I'm definitely gonna make looser or like longer and I need to learn a different method with the class so all right, so I already went ahead and started my other necklace. I made sure to make the string much longer this time. Um, so this is the pattern that I have going on first. Um, don't mind the paint on my table. I've done a lot of art stuff on this table. Um, so we have this green one, pearl, tiger's eye, another green, another pearl, the red and the leaf one. So the red and the leaf kind of look like a berry. Then I have all my stuff set up in here because it started like falling off the um, wires that it comes in. And yeah, so, and I think I maybe put, might put one of these butterflies on here. I'm not sure, but yeah, so I'll see you when it's done. This is how it looks so far. I really like how it's and turning out. So right here in the middle, I think I'm gonna put this clear butterfly. I think that'll be cute. So let's get started with that. Okay, so it's been about a week, maybe longer since I started making these necklaces necklaces um i yeah i'm a professional procrastinator so that's why um but the good thing is i went back to michael's okay because i have an addiction of going to michael's and spending money there but i didn't spend money actually so they sent me a ten dollar and a five dollar voucher and so i spent that fifteen dollars and got fifteen dollars worth of free stuff which is nice which is only two things so i got some clay for another project I'm gonna do and then this this was my big find so when I was looking for a bunch of these like gems and stuff I mean jewels beads um I really wanted some mushroom beads to put right here and I found them I wish there were more colors but there was only brown but fine brown is really cute it matches my shirt over yeah so I'm definitely gonna do like a green and brown necklace um so I'm really glad I got this um yeah but for now, let's just finish up this one. And also I figured out that instead of using these um, key rings or whatever, for this type of like stretchy band, you actually can just tie it, which I didn't really think about. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so this necklace is done. I really like how it looks. Um, my cousin and my sister were like, oh, Christmas necklace. And I was like, no, it's not a Christmas necklace. But now that I look at it, it's very, very Christmas looking, but it's fine. Um, I still think it's cute. So I did the, instead of the um, rings or the little screw, I just like tied it. So I just like crisscrossed it, crisscrossed it again, crisscrossed it again. So it made like three through, like loops. And then I tightened it as tight as possible and it works out pretty well it doesn't feel that sturdy though so i might have to retie it again but overall that's how it looks um so let's go to the next one as well and then i'll show all of the ones the final ones at the end so starting on the brown and green necklace uh with the mushroom this is the pattern that i'm going for green circle, tiger's eye, green oval, tiger's eye, and then over and over and over again. And then in the middle, I will have the mushroom. And then on the sides of the mushroom, it will be those leaves. I think it'll be really cute. So I will show you that when it's done.
green and brown one is done. I am, I've gotten like the hang of it now, so I'm just pumping them out real quick. So here it is. I really like how the mushroom looks. I wish it hung down like that, but I don't, I'm not that advanced. Um, but yeah, I really like how it looks. Um, it's definitely not a style that everyone would like, but I think it's cute very like kind of moss fairy kind of look so um all that's left now is the colorful like pastel one with like the pearls and maybe these i haven't used these yet i'm not sure how i want to um it's probably gonna definitely go with like the butterflies um so i'm looking forward to that and then i'm gonna make overall replicas maybe some like ones that look a little bit different with the overall beads that i have um, and those I'm going to use for another video that I'm doing that includes the clay. So look forward to that. And then let's go straight into this one and then we'll be done and I can show you all the final ones and stuff like that. So. All right, for the pastel colored one, I have chosen to have the glass one and then a pearl and then one of the plastic mm, beads. Um, so I'm trying to make it overall symmetrical, but it's kind of hard because um, the these ones, they didn't come exactly the same. And I also only bought one of them. So let's just see how that goes and hopefully it looks good. Right now it looks okay, but I'm not completely sure yet. So. it's done here it is it's the colorful one it's not bad not my favorite but um overall i like it i wish i didn't make this one pink because obviously the first thing you go to is the brightest bead which is the pink one but overall i really like it it's cute it's a pop of color so i think that is all of the necklaces um so i will show you all of them i'm officially just a necklace guru, a necklace master. Do you see this setup? Okay, so um, I said I took off all of the beads from like the veins right here, and I put it in these little cute containers. That definitely does not make me a guru or anything, but I don't know. It just looks pretty, and I really want to eat it, but I know I shouldn't because it's glass beads. Um, so I have all of like the colorful glass beads in here, plastic color ones in there, pearls, and then these are like the um, novelty like ones, so like the mushrooms and the leaves. And I was gonna put the blue ones in here, but these ones you have to like cut one by one, so I'm just gonna keep them on there. But yeah, so now I'm about to do just like make replicas of those right there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you afterward. I'll probably show a little bit of a time lapse of me making them. So. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. After that fiasco, it's finally done. 
it looks exactly the same as the very first one that I ever made, except it is not the middle thing, so I learned how to tie it correctly. You obviously, I didn't learn how to cut it correctly until now, though. Um, yeah, so it looks exactly the same, except for I put little plastic blue beads right here, right before the drop bead, um, which I think it looks pretty cool. Looks a little bit different, but I think it's very Cinderella-esque, so on to the next ones. Probably not going to show a time lapse of that. I'm just going to cut right over. All right, a little while later, and we have four necklaces that I'm going to be using to for another video um, that you'll probably see. I don't even know fucking when. Um, so we have Miss Cinderella over here. Okay. Then we have like, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh just colorful okay colorful summary then we have like moss fairy cute mushroom necklace i did white pearls instead of um tiger's eye for this one and i, I like how it looks i did pearls for everything uh because i have the most of them and they're also the cheapest so and then i tried something new because i wanted to make a fourth one and i need i looked at it and i was like pairing some beads together and red, yellow, and the pearl looked really pretty. And I'm actually really happy with the turnout. It looks really nice. Because uh, I have so many red beads that I didn't use. Because I didn't have like like how that one looked Christmassy. So here it is. And I really like how it looks. So I think I'm done. And then I'll show like final aesthetic shots of... Um, all of the necklaces. And yeah.